Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to Games Vite. My name is Mod J, and it's Two Player Tuesday. Today we are talking about Fox in the Forest. The Fox in the Forest. Sorry. Fox in the Forest is a two-player trick-taking game. Um, I personally am not really into trick-taking games, but I got this for my parents who are uh, quite a bit in their latter years, thinking that maybe this would be a good thing for them to pass the time and engage in something. Well, it, um, it got put away. It, it didn't really get played. And um, I asked if I could borrow it. I played it once when I was teaching them, and I kind of just forgot about it. And uh, I thought to myself, well, I'll cover this for the channel, thinking that uh, it's not really my kind of thing. But um, in preparing for the video, I played it again uh, with, with my daughter, who is into trick-taking games. And I found myself totally engaged, uh, enraptured with the game, actually. The art, the theme, the, the different play on trick-taking that had me getting more and more involved with the game each round. And it, it basically is such that this is a game that I, I really, really highly recommend. So, let's get started and take a look at the game. The Fox in the Forest is a trick-taking game with a few twists. The cards come in three suits, bells, keys, and moons. The object of the game, or when the game ends, is when at least one player has at least 21 points. At that point, Whoever has the most points wins. There are 11 cards in each suit. Now the first twist to this game is it's not in your best interest to win every trick, or even half of them. There are sweet spots that you want to hit with regard to the number of tricks you take. Points come in the form of these tokens. There's denominations of 6, 3, and 1. Taking between 0 and 3, or 7 and 9 tricks, earns you 6 points. Between those two ranges are kind of slim pickings. If you take one trick, or sorry, not one trick, four tricks, you get one point. If you get five tricks, you get two points. If you take <clears throat> six tricks, you get three points. Beyond those ranges is a goose egg. So if you take ten or more tricks, you're considered greedy and you get no points. Simple, right? Alright, well, let's talk about the other twist. Each of the odd-numbered cards in each suit have special abilities, enabling you to manipulate the flow of the game, uh, change your hand up, uh, or even changing the trump suit. If you take a trick with a 7 in it, you score a point for each 7 in the trick. Okay, the game begins by dealing 13 cards to each player. Then the trump suit is established by revealing the top card of the remaining deck. In this case, a six of bells. So bells will be the trump suit. This is called the decree card. A lead player is chosen and they start by laying down a card from their hand. The following player lays down their card in response and the higher numbered card wins. Unless of course trump is played then the trump card, or the higher number of trump wins, in this case, obviously the 11. However, individual abilities come into play here too. You have to follow suit if possible, by the way. For the 11s, when you lead this, if your opponent has a card of this suit, they must 
play either the one of the suit or their highest ranked card of the suit. In this case, the opponent chose to play one. But one also has an ability. For ones, it says if you play this and lose the trick, you lead the next trick. So they lost the trick, but they get to lead. They lead with a five of keys. And the other player responds with seven. The five says that when you play this, you draw one card from the deck, then discard any card from the bottom uh, to the bottom of the deck. So they would go through this and they could discard this card or they could discard another one. In this case, they would probably maybe, I don't know, it just depends on what, the, what their, their goal is in this game. But let's say they discarded the two because they feel like they want to win more tricks and have higher powered cards. So they'd take that and put it at the bottom of the deck. The seven, as I said earlier, will win you points if you take the trick. So because this player took the trick, they get one point for each seven that was in the trick. Here, the lead player plays a three and the following player plays a nine. For threes, you can exchange the decree card with a card in your hand. So in this case, this player says, well, hmm, I've got a lot of bells and I've already got two tricks. I don't want that many tricks. So maybe what I'll do is I'll take this and make it The nine, when you figure out the winner of the trick and it only has one nine in it, you treat the nine as if it was a trump. So they win the trick. All of the even numbered cards are just normal cards. No special abilities on the even numbered cards. The individual card powers really make this game uh, a game of twists and turns that you have to kind of be on your toes for on every trick. So that is The Fox in the Forest. Please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think of this game. If you haven't played it, I highly recommend it. Like I said, uh, when I first played it, I thought it was really great and then I haven't played it for a while and then I picked it up again and it really drew me in. It's a game that once you play, you want to keep playing. So, like I said, give us a like, a subscribe, a comment down below. All of that helps us with the YouTube algorithm and gets this channel more out there for people to see. So, until next time, thanks for watching.